Hi guys, so today we're talking about how much weight impacts karting. Weight plays a massive part in junior karting and it doesn't need to. So many talented drivers that give up before they arrive in a weight equalised competition. When you get into more senior karting or cars, the weight of the driver is less of a thing as the engine's more powerful. Just to be clear, this is not saying that all light drivers are without talent. And this doesn't mean heavy drivers are fat. I'm heavy and I train every day. Firstly, let me explain how the weight of a driver has an impact. Standing starts. This is the area that has the biggest impacts. At 10 years old, I am 63 kg and I'm racing some kids that are 25 to 30 kg. G. To get the extra 30 to 35 kg up to speed really impacts the initial acceleration. I have started alongside a smaller driver in the middle of a 20 person grid. By the first corner they are leading and I am in last. This is not skill, this is purely to power to rate ratio. For some reason very few tracks use a rolling start for Bambino cadets and juniors. Acceleration. Out of the corners very much the same as standing starts. This allows smaller drivers to miss apexes and still come out the corners faster. The larger drivers have to be smooth and carry their speed. Under braking, there is more weight to slow down, so brake, more braking is needed. Going up slopes or hills have a massive impact depending on where the slope is. If it is right after a tight slow corner, the difference is very apparent, the wet. The wet is a great leveller. However, once you find a field that can drive in the wet, the same penalties apply to heavier drivers, but they get slightly more traction through the corners. Higher karting. Most circuits offer Bambino, Cadet and Junior Championships. However, the majority of tracks don't do any weight equalisation for the champ for the competitions they run. This is where most kids start out and unfortunately success is easier for the smaller lighter drivers. Regardless of the talent, many bigger drivers give up without ever seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of circuits when getting into the teens, adults, offer weight equalised karting. And all of a sudden, the lighter drivers stop being the cream of the crop. Even with Club 100, because I am only 10, I would need to do cadet until I was 13. Even though, in theory, I would be in the junior weight categories. But at least they are allowing for different weights. Owner driver competitions have minimum weights. Every class has a minimum weight. However, the main mechanism of the progress is age. I was big enough and strong enough to go into Minimax at 10 instead of 11. I couldn't go into cadets as the carts were too small and I would have to be seriously over the minimum weight. My, my dad s spoke to Motorsport UK and pleaded my case. Clubs, teams, track owners willing to sign off that I was the correct level of ability, but there was no special dispensations that were that are given. Why not have higher weight limits? People can just add weight to their cars. Kids can't shave off kilos, and at this point in their life, they shouldn't be asked to. It's unhealthy. Why is age the factor that decides the group of kids are in? If they're big enough and have enough skill, why should they be penalised? Could rental championships run minimum weights in the Bambino Cadet and Junior Series? Please let me know your thoughts on the items I've discussed in this video. Driving is an art form that you shouldn't be penalised because you're not the smallest. That is the end of my video guys and I will see you soon and hit that notification bell, subscribe and like and comment. Bye guys, see you later.